Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 28th Chapter, Text Number 18, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 27th, 1975, in Nairobi, Kenya. The Lord is always worth singing, for His glories enhance the glories of His devotees. One should therefore meditate upon the Supreme Personality of Godhead and upon His devotees. One should meditate on the eternal form of the Lord until the mind becomes fixed. Kīrtyanya tītha jasasaṁ munna slūpa jasaskaram dhyayad devam samagrāṅgam javanna this is called meditation. Javan, so long the mind is disturbed and deviates from our subject of meditation, one should practice this kirtan. Kirtanya Sadahari, Chaitanya Mahapurva advises that the devotee should chant always, twenty-four hours. Kirtanya, it is worth singing. It is worth singing. Why? Punna Slokasya, Punna Slokasya, Punna sloka jasas karam. Even if you do not uh, fix up our, your mind, kirtan means fix up your mind. But even if you do not fix up your mind, then you are still gainer. Uh, the more you glorify the Lord, Lord, you become uh, pious, simply by kirtan. It is not necessary that you understand. But if you go on chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, uh, then you become pious. Mm. Punna sloka. Krishna's another name is Punna sloka, Uttama sloka. Uh, simply by chanting Krishna, you become pious. So dhyaya devam samagrāṅga. The dhyāna, the meditation should begin from the lotus feet. Uh, as soon as you begin kītāṁ, first of all concentrate your mind on the lotus feet. Uh, not all of a sudden jump over the face. Uh, we practice to think over the lotus feet, then still higher the knees, then the thighs, then the belly, then the chest. In this way, at last go to the face. This is the process. It is described in the second canto. <coughs> The process is how to think of Krishna, manmana bhavaman bhakti. This is meditation. So this, by kīrtāṁ, it becomes very easy. If you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra uh, 24 hours, like Haridās Thakur, that is not possible. So as much as possible, Tita Jasasa, uh, Kirtan, this is also Kirtan. We are talking about Krishna, reading about Krishna, reading Krishna's instruction in the Bhagavad Gita, or reading Krishna's glories in the Srimad Bhagavatam, they are all Kirtan. Uh, it is not that simply when we sing with musical instruments, that is kirtan, no. Anything 
you talk about Krishna, there is Kirtan. Kirtaniya Sadahari means that Bachang Shivai Kuntha Gunana Vandana. This is the character of Maharaj Ambaris. That whenever you talk, you talk about Krishna. This is Kirtan. You don't talk anything else. Savai Manak Krishna Padaravinda. Whenever he'll think, he'll think of Krishna. His lotus feet, his body, his hands, his flute. This is meditation. Meditation means that trance means when your mind is so fixed up on Krishna or Vishnu that not for a second your mind is deviated from the Krishna's form. That is called trance. Not artificially. You can practice it. If you see Krishna daily in the temple, if you worship, you offer your obeisances, manvana bhavamad bhakta vajjaji manuskur, naturally you'll think of Krishna twenty-four hours, and that will make you more pious. Because without being pious, nobody can think of Krishna. Jishāma anta kataṁ pāpam. Pious means there is no reaction of sinful life. It is all squared up. That you can do at any moment. Krishna takes charge. Krishna says, aham tva sarva pāpi bhavokha ishāmi. He can do that. He can nullify the destiny. Karvāni niddhati kintu ca bhakti bhājā. Everyone is bound up by the laws of karma. Jastindra gopa mathavendra maho sa karma. Bandhāna rūpa phala bhājana mātana. Everyone, beginning from that small micro, indra gopa, and up to the king of heaven, his name is also Indra. So from this Indra to that Indra, all different types of living entities, they are suffering, not enjoying, suffering the resultant action of their past sinful life. This is material existence. Everyone is suffering, but Maya is so kind that he misleads the sufferer to understand the suffering is enjoying. This is my uh, Actually, everyone is suffering, but he is misled to think that he is enjoying. Uh, so, uh, if we keep ourselves always in contact with Krishna, then we become pious more and more, and as soon as our uh, sinful reaction of life is counteracted by these pious activities, we begin to understand Krishna. Jisham Tvandagatam Papam. Without being sinless, nobody can understand Krishna. So this process should be continued. Kirtanya Tirtha Jasasa Punna Sloka Jasaskaram Dhyaya Devam. Devam. Devam means the Supreme Lord. Samagrangam. So if he has no form, how you can think of his whole body? Samagra. Samagra means the whole. Angang means body. Samagrangam. So if he has no body, if he is formless, if he is nirākār, then where is the question of Anga? He has Anga. Samagrāṅgaṁ. But he hasn't got a form like us. That is the meaning. When in the śāstra it is said that God has no form, it means that he has no material form. He has form. 
otherwise how can it i think of his form this krishna's form is not like us uh, and just like if you take my statue uh, or any other statue and if you pray or if you um, offer food and uh, that does not go actually to the person but krishna's uh, is his anga his form is not different from krishna uh, foolish people may say that these men they are offering food to a marble statue everyone knows uh, no it is not that fact the fact is krishna is omnipotent he can accept your service uh, becoming a marble statue because i cannot see krishna by my present eyes therefore he has appeared before who just like a marble statue but he is not marble statue we must know that if you think here is a marble statue and if i come with some offense who is going to see this is wrong conclusion it is krishna personally present here uh, in a form which we can see uh, it is his mercy it is called archabigra uh, krishna is everything this marvel is also krishna's energy mummy rapanalo vayu so he can accept your survey from any of his energy the marble is also his energy the water is also his energy the air is also his energy everything without krishna nothing can exist so he is omniscient all powerful he can accept your service through his energy this is archabigra uh, <clears throat> samagram so krishna has got form angam but his anga is different sachidananda vigra his anga is sachidanam not like right. ananda chinmaya rasa pratibhavita bhi stavijya eva nijo rupa taya kala krishna and his expansion Ananda Chinma, just like Krishna in, in the Rasa dance, these gopis are also expansion of his energy, and you will find that for with each and every gopi, Krishna is there. That is another expansion. Uh, so we should not take Krishna's dancing like our ball dance. No, that is mistake. If we understand Krishna's dancing, then we become liberated uh it is said in the shrimad bhagavatam the instead of reading some books of this ball dance if you read about krishna's dancing then the what will be the result the result will be ridrogo kamam apahinati asu achirena dhira everyone we have got this last desires but if actually one is at advance and he hears from a realized person what is the meaning of krishna's last dance then the result will be the ridrogo kama we have got a heart disease heart disease means lusty desire ridrogo kama apujnati it becomes vanquished uh, if one actually hears krishna's last lila then no more material lusty desires this is the result but unless we are so advanced and uh, spiritually we should not uh, in that in hearing about rasila then we we shall commit offense we shall think the krishna is dancing like us uh, how he krishna is dancing krishna is dancing with each and every gopi can you do that then how you can say the krishna is dancing like us uh, if you see the picture you'll find 
that each and every, every gopi is thinking that Krishna is dancing with him. Uh, how it is possible? If you dance uh, with imitation, that man and many rascals, they imitate that. Then I am Krishna and I can dance also like that. No, it is ananda chinvaya rasa pratibhavita. These uh, manifestation, demonstration is not of this material world. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. When Krishna was dancing, all the gopis, they left their material body by the side of their husband, but they went to dance. That is spiritual body. That is not material body. So don't indulge in such a way that Krishna's dancing and our dancing is the same. Then you will be mistaken, that will be offense. <coughs> so, uh, we have to become advanced in spiritual understanding. Uh, people, the so-called artists, they indulge in Krishna's pictures, uh, his dealings with the gopis. That is not very good. Uh, that is misleading. Uh, people may think, and actually that happens. If without being mature, without being advanced in spiritual consciousness, if one tries to understand or see Krishna Dila with the gopis, then he will be misled. Therefore, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he will find rigidly, he, uh, he discussed this Krishna Lila with very confidential devotee, Ramanandra, not with others. He never discussed with Sarvabha Bhattacharya or Prakashanda Saraswati. He discussed on philosophy of Mahabhad, but not on Krishna Lila. Uh, Krishna Lila he discussed with uh, Ramananda, most confidential devotee. Uh, and to understand Krishna, uh, he bears there as uh, devoted nine chapters, nine cantos, and then from tenth canto he begins Krishna Lila. So Krishna Lila is the face of Krishna, uh, smiling of Krishna. So here uh, we have to practice to see the different parts of the body gradually. From down, first of all see his lotus feet, then gradually uh, see the, that is described. The two uh, feet, they are called the first chapter, in the first canto, second canto. In this way, we must go. Uh, everything is very scientifically arranged. If we take it uh, chronologically, according to the instruction of the Shastra, then it will be very easy. Uh, otherwise, manusyanam sahasreshu kasti jyadati siddha. Jatatama Pishidhyana Kaschid Vetima. We should understand Tattata. That Tattata means Bhaktyamama Vijanati, Jaban Jaschami, Tattata. Again Tattata. Only through devotional service. So devotional, what is devotional service? Sabanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Bhagas. We have to follow these nine principles of devotional service. Uh, especially, uh, this uh, Savanam Kirtanam and Archanam. Archanam and worshipping the deity and Savanam Kirtanam. Uh, even if you follow one, that is sufficient. But there are nine different processes. As, as far as possible, we shall execute everything. And at least Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu, Smaranam Padasivana, Archanam. Archanam is very important. For Kunishtadikari, uh, devotee in the lower stage, archan is very, very important. Uh, although the devotee in the higher stage, he also uh, offers worship. But uh, Krishna is everywhere. But to a neophyte devotee, it is like some uh, people say that why you should go to the temple. Uh, Krishna is everywhere. Who was asking that question? Krishna cannot be sad. Yeah, last night, I think those girls, Sarnagar, uh, 
Krishna is everywhere. That is a fact. But that is for the Paramahamsa, one who is very, very advanced. Uh, but the Konishta uh, he cannot, he, like parrot, he can say Krishna is everywhere. He must be educated. Here is Krishna in the temple. Uh, otherwise, it is simply blasphemy. Uh, Krishna is everywhere, that's a fact. But where is your realization? Krishna is within your heart. Have you got that realization? Ishara Sarva Bhutana Vridesha Arjuna Thishtari. Have you got that realization? That Krishna is within your heart. Can you talk with Krishna? He says, Krishna says, I talk. Buddhi Jogam Dama Dadamitam. Krishna gives intelligence. Krishna is giving. But have you got that realization? So, uh, these are all facts. The Krishna is everywhere. Krishna is within your heart. Krishna is within the atom. Annantarasang paramanu chayantarasang. That's a fact. But where is your realization? Therefore, you have to begin realization by your charm. That is very essential. Uh, the more you become expert in archan, jīja sāvāṁ prapaddhānta, the more you become realized, then more you become advanced. So therefore, for kanishta uh, he has to raise himself. Achaya vevaṁ harai jab pujāṁ sadhyāhati natad bhaktesu annesu sabhakta prakita smritah by executing this archa, vigraha, uh, archanam, mm, gradually you advance. But if you simply remain in the archa, uh, archan vidhi or archan process, and you cannot understand who is a bhakta and what to do with others, uh, that is also a bhakta's duty. Not that simply we shall remain engaged in archa. We must know how to respect a devotee, how to do some service to others also. That is, that is madhyamadikāri. Uh, simply if you become satisfied that now I am initiated and I am offering archa, I am become perfect. No, the perfection he is still awaiting. You have to understand who is a devotee. You have to understand how to give service to the innocent. Uh, if you do not know that, then if you simply become um, packed up uh, by archa, vigraha sevan, archan, then you will remain in the material platform. Uh, Natad bhakti su channe su sa bhakta prakita smita. Prakita means material. He is trying to go to the spiritual platform. But if he simply remains in the archon and does not preach, this is natad bhakti su channe su. Anne su. Anne su means those who are innocent. That is madhamadikari, middle stage. Ishare tad adhineshu baliseshu disasucha prema matri kripope kya ja karati sa madhama. Ishara. By your chavigraha worship, by shavan kirtan, by making your properly advanced, you will understand what is the position of Krishna. Ishara. And Ishare tad adhineshu. And Udhin, Udhin means uh, those who are working for Krishna. They are called Tad Udhin. Udhin means subordinate. So every devotee is subordinate. Nobody is equal to Krishna. Uh, if we do that, then it is a mistake. Uh, devotee, a devotee never says, uh, Das, Das means servant. Servant is always the subordinate. Therefore, Vaishnava says das. He never says master. Vaishnava, das. Sabadhi, tad adhina, adhina, hundred, hundred Krishna. Nobody can be superior to Krishna or equal to Krishna. That is a mistake. This Mahabharata philosopher, 
They think now I have become equal to Krishna. I am also Krishna. That is just Kerala. Uh, Krishna, God, is never equal to anyone. Uh, asama urdha. Asama means uh, not equal. And urdha, always the top. Uh, asama urdha. That is describing the Bhagavad So we should remain. Tadadhin. Always under Krishna. That is our perfection. Uh, if we remain, uh, just like in Western countries, uh, they rebel. If a woman is advised to remain under the control of the husband, that is insult to them. Uh, they do, cannot tolerate it. Uh, but actually, uh, we see in India that a wife who remains under the uh, guidance of the husband, <coughs> she is happy. That's a practical fact. Uh, that's a practical fact. And therefore, in the uh, Manushangita, it is advised, Nasriyam satantam arhati. Woman should be always protect. Uh, that is, <coughs> protection does not mean negligence. No, protection means to give him all facilities. That is protection. Just like father gives protection to the students, that does not mean neglecting. Similarly, the woman should be protected. Uh, it is not that neglecting. They misunderstand. In the Western countries, maybe there is a misbehavior, but uh, actually we have seen, it's still going on in India, the uh, woman is, that is the ideal given by Lord Ramchandra. Uh, how woman is given protection by the husband? Uh, Sita Devi was kidnapped. Ramchandra is the Supreme Lord. He could have married many thousands of Sita. But as the dutiful husband, to rescue one wife, he killed the whole family of Rama. This is protection. He killed the whole family of uh, He became a disease. So uh, a woman requires protection, and the husband is responsible to give protection. The father is responsible to give protection. And the elderly children, they are responsible to giving protection. So, and we are prakriti, prakriti purusha. Uh, so Krishna is the purusha. He is the protector of all living entities. Uh, yesterday, vrittāna uh, grahakātaram. Just like if father is always anxious to see his children are well protected. Similarly, Krishna is also uh, always anxious to give protection to his subordinates. But if the subordinate uh, denounce Krishna, I don't want your protection, then suffer your karma. That we are doing. Those who are in the material world, they are suffering. Why? They have given up the protection of Krishna. They are thinking that we can protect ourselves. What is the use of Krishna? Uh, so this is called dharma saglani. This is deviation from the natural way of life when you give up the protection. Uh, so our Krishna consciousness movement is again go back to that protection. Go back to home, back to God. Thank you very much. <laughs>
uh, food to a statue of yourself. Uh, that He's not statue, but people think statue. He's Krishna himself. But because we cannot see Krishna at the present moment, therefore he appears like a statue. His question, you, you stated that a statue of yourself is not the same um, as you, mm. and yet in some of our temples, such as Vrindavan, the Murti mm. of the Divine Grace has been installed and they are offering prasadam. Mm. So mm. Is, it, is it the same that the prasadam is accepted by the Guru? Yes. Sakshad haritena samastha shastri. Guru is not different from Krishna. That is accepted by all the shastra. Sakshad haritena samastha shastri. Sakshad haritena samastha shastri. Rukta, it is said. Tato bhavata eva sadhvi. And those who are advanced devotees, devotees, they accept it like that. Kintu prabhurja priya eva tasya. But the Guru's position is the most confidential servant. So Guru is the servant God. And Krishna is the master God. Both of them are God. Servant God and master. Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. So we have to serve the, both the servant and the master. Through the servant we go to the master. Hmm. 